Okay, we want to find the value of x so that the area is equal to 54. Okay, but the area can be represented with x plus 10 multiplied by 2x minus 3. Because this is the representation of the length and width. Okay, so to find this, um, we need to expand this and make it into this form first. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So that's one way. Um, the other way is to do a guess and check with the way it is right now because we can compare these factors with factors of 54 and see if one of them works out. But I'm going to go through the traditional method, right? expand this, so we get 2x squared minus 3x plus 20x minus 30 equals 54. 2x squared, you get plus 17x. If you add these two, you get minus 84. And try to factor this. Okay, so what will give you 17? 2, 1. So let's try um, 2, and this is going to be 42. So 4 and 42 is too far off to subtract to give you 17. So let's make that 4. Let's make that 4. Now we have... 21. So how about 21, right? Minus, right? Minus 8. Minus 8. Well, that's going to be too small, right? Okay. The, the hint here is that this has. This is an odd number. So one of the factors that we use from 84 has to be odd. So we had an option of 3 and 7. So I'm going to try 7. And this is going to work now. 24 and 7 will give you 17. So this needs to be negative. So it's 2x minus 7, and it's x plus 12. So from here, we get x is equal to 7 over 2. And from here, we get x equals negative 12. But this has to be omitted, because we're talking about a dimension. right? If, you, if x was negative 12, note that this becomes a minus 2 centimeter, which doesn't make any sense. So the answer to this question, for what value of x will the product, will, the, will we have an area of 54? when x is equal to 7 over 2 or 3.5.